Hello everyone, this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to present a recent leak concerning the genetic origins of the Parthians during the Parthian period. In fact, a few of the samples that have been leaked are also from the Seleucid period in Iranian history. Overall, these leaks are very interesting and they show that modern Iranians do indeed harbor a great degree of genetic continuity and that the ancient Iranians were not primarily of steppe or European descent, but rather were mostly of indigenous Iranian farmer and Anatolian farmer ancestry. This leak does not come in the form of coordinates, but rather it comes in the form of data that has been leaked from an upcoming study that should be published in a leading world journal, though I am not sure which journal in particular. This was actually from a conference that I believe was held in Estonia, though I could be wrong, and this conference is very recent, and this conference, the poster that will be presented here, also included an admixture panel as well as PCA results, so you'll be able to see how much of what proportional ancestries these Parthian and Seleucid samples derived most of their heritage from. As you'll be able to see, most of the ancestry derived for these samples comes from a Neolithic Iranian source followed by a Neolithic Anatolian source. Thus, these samples are very close genetically to modern day Iranians and once the samples are available on the G25 after the study comes out, I'll be sure to make a video on them. I will begin this analysis by taking a look at abstracts from the study and then I will get into the autosomal results that were featured on the poster. I will also be presenting the PCA from the poster as well as the introduction as well as the results that have been discussed on there. Now without further ado, I would like to begin this video. Up first, we have the original abstract and you can see that the abstract was titled Following the Traces of Parthians at the Vast Mean Archaeological Site in Iran. So I won't read this but you can read it yourself and if you want you can pause it and read it if you want a more in-depth understanding of what it says. But what's interesting here is that it says that 31 individuals were to be sequenced here and published but as you'll see now this has been lowered down for some reason. I am not sure why but it's no longer the same amount. I think there could have been contamination or damage to the samples in question which is why we only have 11 samples and not 31 as the study promises here. Nonetheless, these samples presented will fill in some gaps concerning the genetic origins of modern day Iranians and their ancient Parthian ancestors. Though please keep in mind that these samples are not from the Parthian elites but rather from the common folk living in northern Iran during the Parthian period. I think this is one of the few shortcomings of this study. Now here is an updated abstract and again I won't read it but you can take some time and read it and what's interesting here is that now it says that there are only 11 samples in total so this is rather unfortunate. Nonetheless again this is very crucial to understanding the genetic origins of these uh, populations particularly the indigenous populations of Iran during the Seleucid and Parthian periods. Now here is the poster in question and I'll actually zoom into the poster to give you a better understanding of the details. Now here is a zoomed in version of the poster without the female and what you can see is that it's a very in-depth exploration of the findings. And you can again see that there's a PCA and there's also an admixture panel so these will be zoomed in on and I'll try to the best of my ability to simplify what these say for my viewers. Now here is the introduction as well as the primary objective of the research and the method so I won't actually get into this but you can read this yourself but the gist of it is that basically they found samples from the Seleucid and Parthian eras from northern Iran and these will be assessed here and they will be utilized to determine the ancestral origins of Parthian era Iranians from the north. If you'd like you can pause and read the introduction as well as the primary objective of the research if you're interested. Moving on here we have the findings for the study so the gist of it basically says that these ancient Iranians have mostly Iranian descent from an Iranian farmer source that's the indigenous Iranian population alongside around 20 to 40 percent of their ancestry deriving from a Neolithic Anatolian source. What this means is that on a genetic level these samples are mostly of indigenous Iranian and Anatolian farmer ancestry and what this means is that they are mostly of Iran Chalcolithic descent as these two populations form the heritage of the Chalcolithic Iranians. Thus with these results you can see mostly descent from an Iranian farmer and an Anatolian farmer source. It's also worth mentioning that step ancestry in these samples is very low. 
Now here is a map of the sites from which the samples were taken. So you can see that the Parthian era sites are in northern Iran, though you can also see that the Chalcolithic Iranian sites are dispersed over western Iran as well as parts of northern Iran as well. But what's interesting here is alongside these Parthian samples, we may get another ancestral component for Chalcolithic Iranians from southern Iran. As you can see, one of the Chalcolithic samples is from Fars, so eventually that may be released as well. Sorry again, unfortunately the quality is very low. Now moving on, we have a PC and you can see that this is a PC of all West Eurasian and Iranian populations which is very interesting and you can see despite it being hard to make out here, you can see many of the Parthian samples have been featured on this PCA though I'm not sure where they are exactly. Nonetheless, you can see to the uh, right there, you can see many of the Iranian populations from the Iron Age as well as from the Parthian period and there seems to also be a Chalcolithic Iranian sample from Northern Fars which is quite interesting and remarkable. Thus what's evident from the PC is that you can see it features many populations and the Iranian populations once we get the actual PCA from the study they should cluster with modern day Iranians. Thus this PCA also supports Iranian genetic continuity. Now I've kept the best part of this poster for the end and you can see that these are the breakdowns for these 11 Iranian populations from the Parthian and Seleucid period. Now what's evident from these results is that these Iranians derive the majority of their ancestry from an Iran Neolithic source which is very interesting and this makes up greater than 60% for the majority of these samples though in some of them it's hovering around 50%. Nonetheless what this means is that these ancient Iranians were mostly of Iran Neolithic descent. After this what you can see is that they also have a bit of Neolithic Anatolian ancestry which is elevated in some of the samples so this accounts for 20 to 30 percent of their heritage and then you can see that there are minor amounts of Bowtie or ancient North Eurasian ancestry and then finally you can see that the Sintarsht ancestry is at around 5 to 10 percent. Thus what these results prove is that on a genetic level these ancient Iranians were not mostly of Nordic or European descent but rather they were mostly of indigenous Iranian farmer ancestry. And again you can see that they have a bit of step ancestry as well though it's minimal and for the most part it's not exceeding more than 10% and at the most it's very close to 15%. So what this means is that the Parthian era Iranian samples had very little step ancestry. After that you can also see minor amounts of ancestry from an AHG source so I'm not sure what that is. Also minimal ancestry from a Siberian as well as another East Asian related source which is very interesting. So what this means is that genetically these ancient Iranians from the Parthian period had very little foreign ancestry. Thus overall what's evident from these results is that on a genetic level the Parthians were not Europeans but rather were of indigenous Iranian ancestry. Though again keep in mind that these are likely the Parthian commoners and the elites may have had more step ancestry though we're not certain about that either. At the very least the early Parthian elites probably had elevated amounts of step ancestry compared to the later Parthians. Overall these results prove that the ancient Iranians were not Nordic Europeans but rather were mostly of indigenous descent and this goes against the claims made by Georgiani that prior to the Arab Turkic and Mongol conquests of Iran, in other words up to the end of the Sasanian period, the majority of Iranians were genetically identical to Europeans. In fact what these results prove is that Georgiani was completely wrong and out of the ballpark with these assertions. Thus these results largely refute Georgiani. To conclude, this video took a look at the upcoming Parthian genetic study and proved that the ancient Parthians, based on the available leaks we have, were not of Nordic or European descent but rather were of indigenous Iranian farmer stock. In fact, they had very little step or proto-Indo-Iranian ancestry, meaning that the majority of Iran's population during the ancient period was not Nordic or European and in fact the Nordic element had been assimilated by the Parthian period. Now while many may argue that these aren't genuine Parthian samples, nonetheless they reflect a good picture of the genetic character of the majority of Iran's population during the ancient era, thus refuting Georgiani's ridiculous claims. That's essentially it for this video, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.